Welcome to Navy Field Tutorials. My name is Niels and today we talk about um, the menus and uh, how to set up your first ship. Um, uh, in the status button you can see which account you have. I in the moment have a gold account which gives you 100% reward for your, for your XP. If you buy a premium account you will get more. I think it's around 100, 108% or something like that. The next button, button here is uh, for tooltips. You can activate and deactivate tooltips. Here you can see the rules. Be careful and read them. If you, you can be punished if you don't accept them and then uh, follow up to an hammer ban on the server. On the next button here you can see your items. If you push this button, you need uh, to insert your four-digit password before you can, can see it. Here you can... First is for premium ships. Here you can see all the premium ships you will use. The next is for ship items. Here you can see hedgehogs, naval mines, a few expansions. Then you have elite sailors. Sailor items, here for example the ex expert increase, you can click on a sailor and uh, use them to boost your sailors, premium sailors and so on and so on. Next button here on the upper side is the HQ. In the HQ you can put in your crew and Put it out. For example, this uh, U.S. bridge operator. I can take him and put him outside, and he will be shown in my my list below here. If I want to retake him into the HQ. I open the HQ again. Take depot it. Choose him, and then I press OK. And he will show up in the first first free slot in the HQ. Next is battle. If you push this button, you go into battle. If you have a ship equipped and uh, you need a bridge operator to join the battle, and you have the shipyard where you can switch from neutral where the neutral shipyard to the other nations. If you have a um, um, bridge operator to um, from the nation. Now we come to the buying of the first ship. You have to push. If you want to buy a ship, you can hit the button "New Ship" here. At the start of the, at the beginning of the of your navy field career you can only buy the frigate 001 you have to put in a name and then you have the ship and yes sir yes sir you can put yes, crew on the ship to in every slot if you miss one crew member you can push on this button below here on new and then you can here you see the, the stats of the sailor it's in potential 12 so maybe a bridge operator so you can put in a name for him for example EO for bridge operator and then you push the OK button and you have to check this number for uh, 5108 and then here you have the yes, new sir. sailor put it on the ship and you're ready to go here on the left side you can change the aiming system there are three different 
variation of aiming system. The first I, uh, is automatic, that is uh, left click and push the fire button, it's space and your ship will fire on the, on the position you left clicked. Be sure this is not very accurate. The more accurate aiming systems are finder and aiming. And no, no, aiming is more accurate. Finder isn't is not accurate at all. So if you want to shoot more accurate, for example, if you have a battleship, I recommend using aiming for for um, for aiming your your guns. It's here then manual. You have to choose the angel and the direction via keyboard, and then push the button, push the space button button to shoot. The other thing you can change on your ship is your power plant. You can change it. Yeah, for the uh, FF01, you have the decision between three power plants. And normal engine and light engine and then heavy engine. The heavy engine has more power than the others, but the others are lighter, so you can uh, go faster without overheat, I think. But I always put the heavy engine with the most horsepower in the in the ship. Then you can Below here you can change from force and see the sailors to ship. Then you can click on the, the guns and here you can change the guns. In the starter ship you only have the decision between three guns. There's a difference. There's always a normal gun, a long range gun and a short range gun. But it's normally that the Short range gun has the fastest reload time, then the normal gun, and then the short range gun. On battleships, always use the L guns for most range and best performance. So, below here we can choose between the different shells, there's always a normal a light and a heavy until you reach the battleship tier number 5 there is only one sort of ammunition then APC shells and AA shells are for anti-air they only do damage to anti-air so if you are happy with your ship, uh, ship settings then you push the battle button here or the yellow button here. If you are in this screen, this is a battle screen, you can choose between Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg is for small ships, level 1 to 60, and Great Battle it's 60. It's also for level 60 and higher. I would suggest, suggest to you to uh, play Great Battle also with your small ships because you get one level pair game and so you will level faster and get your big ships faster. I hope I will see you in the game and you will get a big ship really fast.